Monday is the deadline to sign up for health insurance if you want a new policy to start on January 1st. Prescription drug coverage is one of 10 essential health benefits required by the Affordable Care Act. But that doesn't mean your policy will cover the drug you want. Medical reporter Janet St. James reports on changes within many plans. As a self-employed DJ, Tim Conway buys his own health insurance. He was pleased with the plan he found in the health insurance marketplace until he needed a prescription for a specially made medicine. I don't have coverage, that's what they told me. I don't have any compound coverage. Conway has a gold plan. So it says specialty drugs, but it's, but it's not specific about. What specialty drugs? Yeah. Um, there's been some research that have shown since last year that in, in fact the number of uh, plans that place some restrictions on, on prescription drugs has increased slightly. By Skype, Devin Herrick of the Conservative National Center for Policy Analysis says many health insurance companies are cutting back because enrollees are sicker than anticipated. And that can drive up the cost of the plans, meaning premiums that rise the next year. So a way the plans tend to deal with that is they, they might increase the cost sharing for certain drugs or for certain services, which allows them, the, the plan, to provide a, a, a lower premium. Within 259 pages of fine print, Tim Conway's plan states it does not provide coverage for compounded medications. He couldn't have predicted he would need such a drug, and the out-of-pocket cost for it is far from affordable. The pharmacist said it was about a thousand something dollars, you know. He's decided to switch plans. Now, experts recommend carefully searching plans in advance for drugs that you know that you take. And if a medication you need in the future is declined, many companies may cover them on a case-by-case -case basis, but you have to ask.